All right, everyone, welcome into the Cyclone Fanatic Halftime Show. Matt Van Winkle, Jared Stansberry, former Iowa State quarterback Brett Meyer here to break down that, well, 21-0 first half. Uh, Iowa State leading West Virginia, uh, 21-0. Uh, thanks to our presenting sponsors of the Cyclone Fanatic Halftime Show. Again, we want to thank Fairway Meat and Grocery, Centurion Stone of Iowa. Visit them at centurionstoneofiowa.com. And, of course, Nebraska Furniture Mart out in Clyde's. Visit them at nfm.com. Thanks to our sponsors this whole season long, Fairway, Satyrian Stone, and Nebraska Furniture Mart. Uh, guys, well, that was, a, that was a pretty exciting first half. This, this team, that was a statement first half to me. I mean, that team came out, um, obviously, on defense to start the game. Um, gets, gets West Virginia down to a fourth and two, leads them to a punt. And then Iowa State comes down on offense, and you, I mean, they just they just came out and looked really great. I mean, Brees Hall capped it off with a 23-yard touchdown run. Um, that that to me was that first, that fourth and four that Chase converted on. I mean, that was a huge statement to that first half. I mean, I think it really set the tone for the offense. Uh, Brett, let's start with you. I mean, 21-0. You can't have too many complaints about that, right? No, that's. Um... It's very encouraging because we have every excuse in the world to kind of have a letdown after yeah. last week's game. And I would imagine that both, you know, whether they're showing the scores in the stadium, most everybody probably knows that we've clinched our spot yep. Um, yep. in Dallas in a couple of weeks. So it's good to see, not surprised with the coaching staff that we have that, you know, we've came out against a really good team uh, who's got some yep. really – you know, the number one pass defense in the country. Um, mm -hmm. That that says something in doing that in our league, right? Because, you know, we can yeah. pitch and catch probably as good as anybody. So, yeah, it's it's exciting to see. And, um, yeah, I mean, I'm extremely encouraged to get 21 nothing and coming out and getting the ball. Uh, we yeah. just seem to be playing downhill and very decisive on both sides of the ball. So Yeah, I lo love the offensive game plan. Um, I think, you know, you're seeing that mix between Brock. I mean, you saw a few times there we had that zone read. Um, really looked confident in that first half. And I mean, I, they were, Golick was talking about that just before the half, the difference in this team from that Louisiana game week one to now. I mean, it's, yeah. it's incredible to see how far this team has come along. Um, Jared, let's toss it to you. Um, I mean, obviously Brett mentioned it, mentioned it, you, you clinched the spot in the big 12 championship before the game, but I mean, this team really came out today in that first half determined i mean they want to win that big 12 regular season championship you could tell it right from the from jack trice there yeah absolutely i mean i think you can just see that you know i say clicking so not just you know on one side of the football or you know in one area it's in, it's in everything where you know on offense you've got both the pass game and the run game going on deep uh you are doing a great job up front of being able to stop the run west virginia had only 13 yards rushing in the first half that's a team that averages almost 160 yards rushing a game uh, Letty Brown is one of the better backs in the in the league, and uh, I mean he's been completely bottled up so far. Um, and then you know, I mean, special teams has been you know a, a win, I guess, for Iowa State when you consider that they didn't miss a field goal like what uh, West Virginia did in the first half. But West Virginia has given up 21 or more points only twice this entire season, and Iowa State yeah. just scored 21 on them in the first half and made it look relatively easy. I mean, I think that this is a game that Iowa State so far has been head and shoulders better than the other teams. Um, and I don't know. I mean, they, it looks like a team that is just as dialed in as they could possibly be. And they're clicking on all cylinders right now, I think. Yeah. I mean, I, I think you're just looking at the box score here, you're seeing a pretty balanced attack. I mean, you're looking at 23 rushes. Brees obviously leading the way, 12 attempts, 51 yards, and a touchdown. Uh, you got some nice re receptions there from Xavier Hutchinson. I think we're, we, we started to see that these la this last few games, that really balanced attack um, between. I mean, you're seeing the pass setting up the run really well. Brees, it'll just, I mean, Brees just is so patient in the running game. He just loved to see what he does, um, and he gets a little bit of space. I mean, you had a you had a few um, you had a few plays that got called back on that that last drive. Obviously, Purdy connected. Shout out to Landon Akers, senior six year guy, caught a touchdown there to to make it twenty one zero. But you had a few penalties there. Um, once you got to Shaw uh, down at like what the two yard line, and it moved you back. I think that's that's where you see the difference in this team is they feel so confident even. Even if they get pushed back, you see some adversity. You get you get two guys going into the end zone, and then and then right away you get a few completions. You get Hutchinson with a nice catch down the seam, and then uh, and then you cap it off with a nice Landon Acres touchdown. I mean, uh, Brett, Brett, what do you think about just the makeup of this team and how confident they are going into the second half and in, into the championship game next, in a couple of weeks? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, obviously we get you know there's a second half to be played, but I feel really yeah. good about it. I mean, you're starting to see you know Will McDonald is somebody who 
I think, it, you know, when it's all said and done with his career, is going to be one of the better, you know, pass rushers we've had at our school. I mean, he's just, yeah. you can see he's got a chance as he continues to grow and, and fill out. He's undersized right now, but I mean, he's just, he's an unbelievable pass rusher. And Sean Shaw, I mean, guys that were starting yeah. to really, you see, it's no coincidence that our receivers are starting to get their legs under him and get more comfortable that all of a sudden, oh, Brock seems like he's playing better. Well, you know, it takes two, right? Mm -hmm. To kind of yep. takes a good group of receivers. And you're starting to see, obviously, Xavier's been there all year, but Sean Shaw's coming on. And um, obviously, with the tight ends that we have, that really negates the need for us to have a, a third receiver because, you know, we may not even be in as many three wide sets. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's, I'm encouraged by it. You know, obviously, yep. we want to get out of this game and finish the second half. And then, you know, Oklahoma's going to have to play next week. And then we'll have two weeks to prepare for them or whoever we got and yeah i'm i'm extremely encouraged man we're in a great spot yeah i'm glad you brought the defense i mean this is go through the drives real quick obviously i mentioned you get that penalty uh on west virginia to makes it fourth and two leading to that punt that first drive defense forces a three and out that second drive and then that third drive um iowa state made a nice stop i mean west virginia was putting together a pretty good drive um and then and then they go down and miss a miss a field goal pretty wide uh wide field goal so um this team i think i think what you're seeing too is once teams are starting to put some pressure on them I, we saw it against texas early in the game last uh, last week texas went right down there in that first drive and iowa state stopped into a field goal i mean you're seeing them giving up some decent decent plays um some decent yardage plays but this defense really shores up and they, they really seem to figure it out once these teams get down into the red zone what do you think jared yeah i mean definitely it's a and that's something that Jeff and I talked about on football and random things a little bit this week, yeah. just where, you know, early on in the game, Iowa State will really come out and kind of with base set and they'll see what the other team wants to do against them. And, you know, sometimes that'll lead to some points, but uh, you you always see them make adjustments relatively quickly and get into a position where, you know, then there's basically nothing open for this offense. I mean, West Virginia has, has had a hard time finding anything uh, that has worked. One, because they've shot themselves in the foot a couple of times. Uh, you know, on some, on some different plays. But, uh, I mean, Iowa State defense is just flying around. And, you know, Brett mentioned it, Will McDonald, Jaquan Bailey. I, I would like to know what uh, what their sack numbers would be like if they didn't get held on every play. But yeah. they, the, <laughs> the fact that they're able to get in there and, and still sack the quarterback as long as they are is a testament to how, too, how good both of those guys are. Um, and defense is playing as, as well as it has all season. Like I mentioned before, offense is playing at a really high level. Uh, in the last eight quarters at Jack Trice Stadium, Iowa State's outscored its opponents 94 to 10. So uh, they're in a in a pretty good position here so far. It's awesome to see, especially on senior day for this group. I mean, some great seniors. We don't know who's coming back, who's staying again, but um, you saw some nice plays from some seniors in this game. Chase Allen, some nice catches. Landon Akers, again, as we mentioned, and some some nice defensive plays as well. Uh, just looking around the Big 12, obviously, I don't know, you guys probably saw this. TCU beat Oklahoma State today, 29 to 22. Does that mean? Does that mean if Iowa State? I guess we know Iowa State's in. Does that mean they're going to play? Pretty much guaranteed to play Oklahoma. Yeah, I thought yeah, we win. Yeah. yeah, who's yeah. Oklahoma playing? They win tonight. They're locked in. Baylor. Oklahoma's got Baylor at seven tonight on Fox, so we'll be all eyes okay. will be on that, obviously. But I think yeah. I think this pretty much wraps up so, that we'll be playing Oklahoma, right? If, if Baylor wins, is there another scenario, or is it Oklahoma either way? I think it probably if, if Oklahoma lost again next week against West Virginia. Oh yeah, and yeah, then yeah, Oklahoma yeah. State won. I think that that could that could be possible, but it I think the odds of that are probably pretty slim. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Well, well, guys, let's finish it off. 21-0 at the half. Iowa State leading West Virginia. Again, we want to thank our sponsors, Fairway Meat and Grocery, Centurion Stone of Iowa, and Nebraska Furniture Mart. Uh, Jared, you and Rob will have post-game coverage of this game. Chris will have his instant reaction um, before he heads off to Cyclone Reaction on um, 100.3 The Bus locally on iHeartRadio. Um, and then we'll have full coverage at CycloneFanatic.com after this game. Guys, thanks so much for your time. Enjoy the second half and go Cyclones. Yeah, talk to you guys later. All right. yep. See you, See you guys. guys.